What's up guys, it's just me today. Madison's actually on his way down to Canon to fix our second video camera, which we've broken now twice. Anyway, welcome to part three of Gina's three-part series, Practice Like a Pro. If you haven't seen parts one and two, stop this video right now and go ahead and click that link. If you're watching this on YouTube, if you're watching this on Facebook, go ahead and click right down there. So in this third episode, Gina talks about what went well in last practice, a few things she needs to get better at, and three new goals that she'll have for the following practice so she can continue to improve and grow as a player. Without further ado, here is part three, Gina Urango, Practice Like a Pro. Practice started out um, really well. Uh, we were getting lots of touches in, it was very cardio focused. Um, really warmed up quickly um, but then by the end of practice the fatigue started to show for me um, my legs started to feel it and I was saying it's it's a very game like situation because in a tournament you know on your fourth match if you're in the contenders on Saturday your legs obviously aren't going to feel fresh and so ultimately I think that I let that get the best of me and that's where it just goes to show like even if I'm like a main draw AVP player like I still have days like this that's frustrating, but it's like one of those things that you just have to try and work through. Mm -hmm. One thing that went well was I thought that my setting was really good. I had um, good face with my hips and long touches and I was lifting uh, Kelly some good sets in the match play. That was a positive. And one negative, um, I forgot to breathe. And breathing is so important to not only slow down um, kind of everything that's going on with the match play but it also slows down your mind and I got too caught up with immediately going to the next point instead of taking a breath to be like in the most present moment there is possible to kind of like evaluate each point and I kind of rushed into it and um, that was a big negative for me today and I know that I need to work on that for next time. I thought the the focal point of squaring up on my set was good like I said um, really working even if the pass is off to get around the ball. Um, the point of hesitation on my approach, I think it started to uh, not happen when we started to play a little bit more live and my legs started to get a little more tired. Um, instead of uh, focusing on that and coming in with a hard approach, I felt very vanilla. And you know, like I said, my whole taking a moment to breathe and think about that didn't happen. So I wasn't necessarily able to fix that in the moment. But looking back now, I know that I can try and adjust that next time at practice. I think that I think the drills were good because, especially in the beginning, the drills were very narrowly focused. So I was able to concentrate on those specific skill sets. But then, as soon as we went into live play, um, I can see how it kind of went a little bit out the window and. That's where slowing down um, your mind in between each play by taking a breath can help me really hone in on those skills when it goes live. So going into next practice, mm -hmm. if you were to say right now, what are three things you want to work on for next practice, what would they be? Number one, breathe. Just taking a moment to take a breath, that's definitely focus number one. Um, focus number two is if to, fo to work on a higher contact point with my hand. I think because if my legs are feeling tired and I'm not jumping as well, I still need to work on getting a high reach and finishing my hand on the ball. Um, and then three is always just being mindful, continuing to ask myself questions, uh, what, what went well and what didn't go well and what can I do better. Alrighty, that concludes our third and final episode of the Genie Urango Practice Like a Pro series. And guys, Thank you again. We can't tell you thank you enough for watching all of our videos. We make beach volleyball videos coming out with a new one every Wednesday at noon Pacific Standard Time. So if you guys aren't already subscribed, go ahead and click that little white button right there or that red subscribe button right below. Thank you again and until next time, later guys.